Hey folks, Blameon13 here from PCG and we are back with some more OBS tutorial videos. So since the last video I did about the webcam overlays was so successful, I decided to do an updated version with uh, a new website and some new borders that you can get that are completely free. So I hope you can find this video useful and I hope that you all get the border you are looking for. So we're going to go straight to the website and I'm going to take you through it very slowly. And uh, we're going to look at the website, we're going to look at the borders, we're going to pick one we like. And then we're going to change the one we have now is going to be our old one. And we're going to have a new one by the end of this video. So sit back and enjoy. So the first thing we need to do is open our Internet Explorer and it can either be Google, whatever you're using. And then simply type in the website Design Hub. And then it should be the first one that sort of comes up here. Design Hub resources to help anyone create incredible templates and overlays and stuff. And then you can check out all the different articles they have on templates, thumbnails, watermarks. Lots of good stuff, very interesting stuff and very useful stuff that will help you. But uh, we're more interested in YouTube. So if you just select the YouTube button along the top there and then go to search. And then we need to search overlays. Sorry for the typing. And then once you type that in, it should bring up a page that will look like this. And then you just sort of scroll down and there's lots of different options there. You can go up and down and sort of look around what you're after. And the one we are interested in today is the 100% free webcam overlays. So once you select that, it will bring you into the next page. And then you can scroll through all these different types you can choose from. And uh, we're just going to be sort of quick here and select one that sort of looks good and one that we'll be interested in using. And then once you have selected your desired overlay, simply select use this template. It will bring you into this next page then. As you can see, it comes in different colors and it is completely free. So simply add to cart, which is free, will be your next step. And then obviously it will come up on the right hand side, the top right hand side there will be a little one under your cart. You simply select that and it will bring you to this next page. And then simply continue to check out. Then obviously it will ask you to enter in some private details which I will not show you here because obviously for privacy reasons but simply your name, address, anything that it requires just simply add that information in and we will skip on to the next page and then once you have that all done it will send you a confirmation email and simply open up your email and then you will see an email visuals by impulse and then it will direct you to a link which you can download your brand new overlay so simply select that link and then it will bring you to this page and simply select download now. And then it will download the file obviously to wherever you have set up on your computer. Now you will know this better than me. I know where mine is. I'm hoping that you will know where yours is too. And then you can just open up files to make sure you know where the file is. It tells you the location there. And then we move on to the next step. And now we have that step complete, simply go back to your desktop, open the file where it was saved. And then what you need to do is simply, I'll make sure this is an important part, is to right click on the file itself and you need to extract all of those files. And then obviously choose your saving location, make sure it's somewhere where you can get easily. And then this is what will come up, you'll get blank cams and then you can choose the the width size there and you can see those are the overlays and that's a wider angle there and then you've got those colors to choose from and whatever really preference you have as simple as that so now you need to go straight over to OBS open your OBS and then I have set up a little image there just to show you as a reference I'm going to put that within my overlay so what we want to do is right click on your sources and you want to go up to add and then simply add image now you can create a new image and you can name it whatever you need overlay is simple enough 
Now, image file, you must browse. Now, I'm assuming you'll know where this file is. Simply retrieve the file from your saved location. Select the, the wide angle or the smaller angle that you require and then simply pick your desired color. I think we're going to go green and then it'll come up on your screen. Now you're going to need to crop this and there's a simple way to crop anything. You can select it and simply drag back and forth. To your desired height and width so your next step now is just to get each each uh, source to fit in each other so i have the image there that will be your face cam hypothetically and then simply you sort of pick where you want your overlay to be you got to crop it to the right size and then you got to also crop your face cam to fit within the borders of the overlay which is a bit tricky, it can get it quite annoying. But uh, if you need to crop it, you can simply drag each corner or you hold your left alt button on the corner and drag it, it will crop also. And then once you have it set up nice and tidy and you're happy with it, and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, as you see, you have two empty boxes. Well, there's three spaces at the bottom of the border you can add stuff in. To add text, simply right click on your source again and select add. And move right down to text and then simply create a new text line you can just add it to the name what you're going to put into it which is mine is blame on 13 which is my gamer tag you select your font i uh, just sort of rushing through this you can choose obviously whichever you prefer uh, a good recommendation is to choose a bigger size i sort of want smaller which is Recommend the quality will always turn out better if you choose a bigger size and then scale it down and crop it as opposed to smaller and then blowing it up. And then add your text in the little text box and then you'll also want to select a color. I think for the color you can play around with this stuff if you prefer. This, we're not going to be using any of this stuff. We're just interested in the color now. So select color. And then I think we're going to go for a nice red. No, sorry, actually green. Green. And as you can see, it's pulled up a little text box there. And then you've got other stuff you can choose from, obviously. And you grab your text box, crop it up. And then move it within the little empty space there at the bottom left hand corner and don't forget to crop it down the size and all you gotta do is just fit it right in there and now you have your gamer tag so now that we have that done we're just going to repeat the process so i have my gamer tag on the left hand side we want to go to right click on your source and then add again and then add more text and then on the right hand side on the empty box i think i'll just add my name and then the same rules apply you put your text in select your font also select your color and select anything else that you would like to add See, this time I choose to go for a bigger size. Still not big enough though. I recommend going a bit bigger than 26. And your color, we're going to go green again. And the same process applies. Simply grab the little text box. Drag it down to where the empty space is. And then simply crop it down to a, to a size that will fit. Obviously, it's a little fidgety. It may take a wee while just to get it perfect. And there you have it. Now it's starting to come along nicely. And then what I'm going to do is the little box in the middle. I'm going to add the initials of my YouTube channel, which is Phantom Control Gaming. And I'm going to add a little PCG. 
just for a little extra visual treat. Select your font, select your font style, select your text size. Obviously put your text into the text box. Font and control gaming. Select your color. I believe I'm going to go for a red this time. And then all I'm simply going to do is the same again, is crop it up, resize it, drag it into the box, make sure it fits. And there you have it. Now we have a brand new webcam overlay, a brand new free webcam overlay, just to be clear. And uh, yeah, that's it, folks. Simple and easy. So guys, simple and easy, free webcam borders, uh, I've given you the, I will put the link to the website in the description below, that I've shown you the simple steps into how to get your, your border set up, so thank you all for watching folks, I really appreciate it, hope you all have a good weekend, hope you all stay safe, and I hope to see you all in the next video, thank you for watching, and take care.